Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, I want to talk about uh, uh, Sniper Recon, uh, a little more, but I want to talk about that. It, it, uh, it's an important, uh, really important uh, oh, uh, militia when it comes to defending your, uh, your, your area, your I can say, as a matter, if we're talking about a, a, a house or a block, a neighborhood, or like in my particular situation, you know, it's a small rural community, and uh, the the idea there's a reason why they're called sniper recon, and the thing is they're less likely to do any shooting that's really that's what it is uh, they're more of a, a scouting uh, type of a, a unit they uh, uh, they will be the first uh, let me see, let me see. That may not be mine. they're going to be They will have to make decisions. Uh, now, what happens? You're going. You're always going to have uh, uh, sentries, lookouts, you know, this type of stuff, uh, and uh, and they're around a certain area, your perimeter. That's what they're watching. Uh, the best use uh, for the sniper team is to go out further beyond. Uh, your perimeter and when when that happens uh, they get a more of a further advance notice that somebody is coming that's what the whole idea is uh, you know they're like I say they're recon they're, they're uh, scouting they're, they're, they're checking out what's going on the good thing and the, the big difference between the three-man militia uh, uh, sniper recon team is uh, uh, where you're going to be used. You're going to be going through the same areas over and over again, uh, and uh, now it doesn't mean you're going to be taking the same path each time, but you're going to be in the same area. Now, uh, when you use them, you really can't use them if you're a refugee bunch and you're moving that's not really a, a good thing they are they're more of a they're more of a recon scout team than their sniper team at that in that particular time and that's because they're going further ahead and they're scouting they're seeing what's ahead so as your group moves they'll they'll know what they're coming up against so that's that's really what it is on that but uh, what I'm talking about is when you're holding your position. Now, it's it's one of the weirdest things, and that tells you the inexperience that uh, many people have. And uh, and this is the problem that I have. Uh, I deal with a lot of people. Most everybody's got guns, and for some reason, everybody thinks, "Well, I got a gun. Well, I can kick ass." Uh, they they been watching way too much TV. And uh, that's what I have a lot of people tell me. They say, well, uh, you know, if you're coming into our area, man, we'll just, we'll just shoot you just like that. You won't stand a chance. And, and I've mentioned before, the, the worst thing you can do is either shoot me or shoot at me. And the reason is, is uh, for the, the first thing, I won't let you see me until I am ready for you to see me. So, uh, in other words, uh, my people will be in place before you're going to be able to get a visual on me. Now, my people will be snipers. These are going to be these, these type of people. And uh, uh, their instructions will be, if somebody shoots at me, uh, start killing in other words 
uh, when somebody shoots at me for no reason, I'm just coming upon you, and you shoot at me, then you're bad people. And before I, we wanted to work out something with you, now the idea is to take whatever you have. So that's that's the difference on that stuff. So, and it's the same thing if I'm holding a position and my snipers tell me, hey, there's somebody coming down the road, and you know, so in the next few hours we know we expect them, uh, we'll have a marksman or rifleman in place uh, to do whatever we have to do. And so in other words, when you come up on us, we're not going to just shoot at you. That's not the point. We want to know what's going on. What, what, you know, what's the occasion for us? Why are you here? You know, so, and uh, so the idea is you don't shoot. Uh, but that's the, the, the sniper scout recon bunch will give us the advance notice. So then we'll be more than prepared. So the times that they're going to shoot will be really limited. Now, uh, if we know we're going to get into um, a shooting match, now that's when the difference between the marksman, marksman rifleman, uh, the difference between them and the scout uh, snipers. And the thing is, the snipers. <clears throat> Okay, this is a good way to tell the difference. Uh, at 100 yards, a rifleman, uh, a rifleman marksman, can shoot a balloon at 100 yards. And, uh, uh, and I like shooting balloons because it gives you a visual. You can see it, you put different colors up, and then you can say, okay, I'm gonna go for the green balloon, and then you can take your shot. Okay. Uh, just just for the shooting I'm talking about now, the, the cap capability of accurate shooting. At 100 yards, that's what your rifleman and uh, 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 marksman would be doing. And they could do that with uh, an AK would be kind of pushing it, uh, more like an SKS. I would rather, when you're doing long distance shooting like that, it's not how many rounds you can get out. The idea is how many blooms can you hit in five seconds? That's the idea. At 100 yards, how many blooms can you hit in five seconds? That tells you your, the quality of your marks. Okay, your uh, sniper folk, they should be able to uh, hit um, I don't know how many balloons in five seconds at 200 yards. At 200 yards. Okay, now uh, that tells you the, the sniper uh, in the way of re repeat shooting. He ought to be able to hit, I don't know how many balloons in five seconds at 200 yards. But really, to be a good sniper, we're talking about hitting a balloon at, oh, maybe 400 yards, one, one balloon. And uh, that I'd be able to, to get it, that one balloon, better than 90% of the time at 400 yards. Uh, now that tells you you got a good sniper. Really, when you really get out to, now we're talking about uh, militia snipers. We're talking about militia snipers. Now, when you get out to real, I don't know if you want to call them professional snipers or not, but uh, these type of people, they ought to be able to hit the balloon um, at least, you know, five or six hundred yards uh, with most any 308, and that's what. Uh, your sniper will be using a 308, and then your uh, professionals with uh, the proper 308, they ought to be able to hit the balloon, like I say, at a, at a hundred or a thousand yards. But uh, the 308 is a complete different gun, uh, about five or six hundred yards up, and then uh, after that, 
it's a whole complete different gun. Uh, there's something in the barrel and all that kind of stuff that really makes a change. And so that, that'll make a difference on that. But uh, that's how you can tell uh, the, the, the quality of your snipers. Now, another thing. Uh, snipers are real, uh, not only they're accurate on their shots, but they're pacific on uh, what they're shooting at. And normally it'll be uh, command, command type people. Uh, in other words, whoever's in charge. It could be uh, uh, people in uh, like tank or uh, helicopter, you know, people that are, have some kind of um, protection or something. Uh, so they have to be accurate on hitting those kind of uh, targets. So that, that's the difference between them and the marksman. Marksman would be a whole lot different kind of uh, shooter than that. But uh, so, uh, and there's a lot of a lot of training and, and thinking and uh, uh, tactics that are used in the, the uh, three-man militia uh, sniper scout recon bunch. And because uh, it's how they're moving around. You remember they're moving in the same areas each time. So uh, they've got, they should have the advantage on moving. And uh, like I say, so you'll have uh, uh, one might be drawing fire or, you know, looking. You know, everybody will see the one, but it's the other two that are getting in position to uh, do what they're going to do on them. So in other words, you're not going to see all three of your uh, uh, three-man sniper team. You won't ever see all three. You'll be lucky, like I say, to see one. More than likely, they're putting them out as a you know, target or you know something to draw your attention. And uh, like I say, there's going to be one or two you're not going to see. That's the whole idea. But anyway, that's just to give you a little something to think on. Uh, this is Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com. <laughs>